Hello, how are you guys doing today? I hope you're doing well. I'm doing fantastic. Thank you for asking. Um, today I have my February TBR to be read, the books that I will be reading in February. I have six books that I would like to read. Will I actually read them? I don't know. I'm in the middle of about three, which is ridiculous. Why am I reading three books at once? I don't know. These are the books that I would like to read, so let's, let's just... Let's just get started. The first book that I'm currently in the middle of, though I would like to finish it in February, is The Norton Book of the Sea, edited by John O'Coote. This was a gift from Sharkbait, who's lame and she sucks. And yeah, I'm really enjoying this so far though. It's wonderful. Um, and because Sharkbait gave this to me as a gift, I figured the bookmark that I use had to be this one, because sharks and she's shark bait. So funny, so funny. I'm also in the middle of a beast of a book and that is 112263 by Stephen King. I am, let's see how far, 356 pages into a 800 and something page book. It's great, it's great. It's actually really good so far. I'm really, really enjoying it. I thought I would have been bored already or at least been like, come on, hurry up with the story. Under the Dome was way too long and just too much, but this, this is okay so far, so we'll see how it goes. For those that don't know, this book is about a man that goes back in time. A friend asked him to go back in time to stop the Kennedy assassination. And there's a lot of the butterfly effect stuff going on in here, and it's really good. I'm really, really liking this, like I said. Hopefully it continues to stay entertaining, because that's what this is so far. It's just very entertaining, so. We'll see. I'm also in the middle of The Storm King by Brendan Duffy. Uh, I'm reading it on my Kindle app, on my on my tablet. You can't really see. I'll put a picture of the cover here. I received a e-copy from a Kindle uh, from the publisher to review, so I'll be talking about this book uh, in a book review soon. I am 27% through the way of this book. I think it's around 400 pages, so from 27%, how far am I? I don't know. It's interesting so far. It's definitely a page turner. Uh, it's a thriller. I don't know too much because, again, I'm not that far into the book, but what I can assume what this is about, um, our main character of this book, when he was in high school, his family got in a car accident. Their car drove off the road and went into this lake and everyone in the car died except him. Uh, years later now, he's moved away from his home and a dead body shows up, I guess, near this accident and he's called back to the town and it takes off from there. It's a thriller, so I can only assume uh, going farther into this book that it's going to be about this character just rehashing the past, discovering old secrets, maybe there's a murderer who is behind all of this somehow, some way. I don't really know. I'll talk more about it later, like I said, but I am enjoying it so far. It is a page turner. Another book that I'm going to be reading and reviewing on my channel, I'm so stoked about this. I haven't received it yet, but I will be receiving it from the publisher soon, and that's Into the Drowning Deep by Mira Grant. I first heard about this book from uh, from the Shades of Orange. She has a book review on this book, so I'll link that down below. It's wonderful. She's great. Go subscribe to her. This is a horror science fiction about killer mermaids, and so obviously I have to read it. But to go into a little bit more detail, I guess there was a crew that was formed that went on a voyage to the Marianas Trench, which Marianas Trench Oh, I have to read this. So they go down to the trench to film a mockumentary about mermaids and I guess they die or something happens and people years later are going back to figure out what happened or something. Honestly, I don't know, but I'm going to read it. I'm going to find out what happens and I will have a book review and I will let you know. So and then I'm finally going to read Wuthering Heights by Emily Bronte basically because everyone keeps telling me I need to read this, so I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna read this, and it better be great, guys. If it's not, there will be hell to pay, so there we go. And the last book, I don't know if I'll get to this book, but you know, I'll throw it in here anyway, that is going to be The Goldfinch by Donna Tartt. I've never read anything by Donna Tartt, but I've had this for so long now that I need to read this. I don't know anything about this book. I just 
where did why did I get this I just I remember now um, when I used to work at Starbucks there was this this lady that would come in on her lunch break and she would read and we would always talk about the books that she was reading this was one of the books that she was reading and when she finished it she told me I needed to go out and buy the book and read it I found this at a Goodwill so I bought it but of course I never read it everyone on booktube talks about Donna Tartt, about the secret history, about the goldfinch, and doesn't she have another book called The Little Friend or something like that? I'm not sure. And those are the books that I would like to read in February. Will I read them? I don't know. We'll see. I hope so. If you've read any of these books, I would love to know your thoughts and opinions down below. We could chit chat, blah blah blah. All my social media links are down below. Subscribe, like the video. Yeah. Cool. Great. Okay. I'll see you guys in another video soon. Bye. Um, hello. Hi. I'm here to add one more book to my TBR. I might not be reading the Donna Tartt book anymore because now I need to read this book. I was in the middle of editing my TBR right now to then upload when I hear a knock at my, my front door. And, and I mean, I was kind of scared because, um, who's bugging me late at night? I don't have friends. I'm just kidding. I have friends. But that was a little weird. So I go to my front door and I open it and lo and behold, on the floor is a package. And in this package is, is Semiosis by Sue Burke, which, oh my gosh, I, I heard about this book a couple weeks ago and I decided to request it from the publisher. I knew it came out on February 6th, which is like in a week. So I didn't think I was going to get it and I didn't get a response. So I figured that's fine. Ignore me. But it's here with me. They gave it to me. Oh my gosh. It's a finished copy and it's gorgeous. Can we just look at this cover? So Semiosis is a science fiction fantasy. It's about humans that are traveling through space. They're trying to find another place to live. I don't know if maybe Earth is no longer inhabitable. The synopsis doesn't really say much, but it's about human colonists that find this planet and once they go to this planet, they start to eat the plants and the fruit because it's edible for them. And one day they're fine and the next day when they eat these plants and fruit again, uh, it's poisonous and people start dying. So the book plays on sentience, it's about first contact, it's about a lot of things. I guess I don't really know, but just the fact that this book focuses on plants and sentience and that sort of thing it just really intrigued me and I love science fiction so I'm really really excited about this. Who sent this to me? Tor? Tor sent this to me so thank you so much. I guess this means I will have a review up very very soon. In case you didn't notice I've been requesting a lot of books from publishers to uh, film book reviews. I felt that if I started requesting books from publishers that would force me to make book reviews which I really want to start doing. There's a moth on my ceiling uh, but like I said I felt that by requesting books it would push me to film more book reviews because that's what I really want to start doing more. Anyway okay that that's it that's the TBR. I'm so excited. Semiosis, Sue Burke. It's gonna be great. I hope it's great. If not, well, we'll, we'll see. Have a great day or night wherever you are and I'll see you in another video soon. Okay, bye!